July 10th, 2020. It's our pandemic cross country social distancing trek. And we're gonna try not to go in any buildings the whole way. Got the portable toilet all ready to go. watching Joanna and Dennis get married on Zoom. Drafting into the lane.
Okay, so when I found out my parents were driving across the country with a crazy dog to pick up Abria, I honestly didn't know what to think. I thought any kind of traveling during a pandemic was absolutely insane. When you told me you were going on a cross-country trip in the middle of a pandemic with a dog, I told you you were insane. I still think that, and I'm just glad that you got back home safely with no problems. Mishugana is the word. Why they needed a dog to come across country is something else again. They couldn't se be separated. After 20 years of not having a dog, then all of a sudden getting a puppy, they couldn't be separated from their baby Toffee. So, good.
they're having a good time they don't have any rush just so long as you're safe doing it now when you have to turn around and go back with one more person in the car it's really going to be fun have a good day bye bye hi it's pearl my family thought taking a road trip across the country during a pandemic was a little crazy but i thought it was a great idea i heard it was a lot of fun i hope i can do it one day i can't wait to meet my cousin toffee so what was our reaction to hearing that you guys were going to drive cross country to california to pick up abria about Nicole? So what did I think when Steve Hamburg said, Nicole, the dog, now what's the dog's name? And I are traveling across country during COVID-19. I thought, bless Nicole's heart. <laughs> when we had you guys over and you told us that you were going to be driving cross country to pick up Adria from your parents' house, I was jealous, thrilled, excited, filled with emotions for you um, to, to have this time and opportunity to, to go and drive through many states and see the beautiful sights. Even though you won't be stopping due to uh, COVID-19, it's still, you know, great fun and that you'll see, you know, the beautiful country that we live in. Uh, we love to travel, as you know, as a family, so I'm just super pumped for you guys and can't wait to hear about your trip. I also thought it sounded amazing. What an exciting opportunity to go drive through the whole country, see so many different things, just experience the beautiful sights, even just as you drive. And we hope you have an amazing trip. I'm sure you did. And can't wait to see you guys. We love you. Oh, hello. Welcome to my pandemic edit suite, otherwise known as my living room. I'm sorry, I was just catching up on some emails from the cancer ladies because Steven abandoned me to deal with their 9,000 emails while he was gone. Thanks. Anyway, hope you guys had a good vacation. I guess you're probably back now. I hope you all made it back, okay? I hope the dog made it back, okay? And he didn't wind up tied to the bumper somewhere, you know, vacation style and all. Um, I gotta say, I wasn't that surprised when I heard about the trip. Kinda made sense. I figure Steven can get like days and days of driving shots, which is like his favorite thing in the world. But uh, the thing that caught me off guard was the toilet. So all I can hope is that in the final cut of the video of the trip, if it ever gets made, because let's face it, we're busy at work, so he probably won't have an eight hour lunch break to work on it for the next three weeks or months. But uh, I just hope that there's no shot of that toilet, at least, used in the video. So uh, hopefully you can cut around that. But that, that was definitely the weirdest thing about it. So I hope you guys had fun and I'm glad you're back because I need some help at work. Okay, bye. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services at taxpayer expense. So when I heard that you guys were going to be driving cross-country with a dog, during the pandemic, I thought, where are you gonna go to the bathroom? And then Yak explained to me that she bought a little porta potty and she was gonna use it in a minivan that you guys rented. And I thought, genius. So I hope you had a great trip and I can't wait to hear all about it. When I heard that the three of you were going cross country, I was blown away. But then I thought, you should take an extra companion. What do you think, Bruno? Maybe next time? Maybe next time. I guess maybe the idea was people would be surprised by this trip, but knowing Nicole, as I do, as I know she's an intrepid traveler, so it didn't surprise me at all. Just took it in stride and when we started talking about how she was going to um, get the portable toilets to take with her, I wasn't worried at all because that's just Nicole, completely prepared for everything. So intrepid traveler, but also very practical, no surprise. I'm sure you guys had a great trip. 
Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, where are you guys going? Can I come too? Hey, Toffee. Toffee. When I heard that uh, Stephen was going to take his wife and his dog and a toilet on a cross-country road trip, uh, staying at who knows where in the middle of a global pandemic, I thought, yeah, that's about right. It seems about uh, just, just audacious enough to be a normal Stephen Hamburg production, and I'm sure it's going to make a great video. I was really glad to hear that you guys drove across country. I think that kind of trip is so fascinating. The geography of our country, the diversity of the people, both good and bad, and the alone time you have. Well, with the dog, I suppose. I hope you had a good time and really got a lot out of it. And it's certainly better than sitting at home again for another day to work at home. When I heard Stephen and Nicole were taking a cross-country road trip with the dog, I thought, wow, that sounds like a really great time. I can only hope Nicole doesn't bring up how great Tom Brady is because that will make the ride even that much longer. Are you guys still driving? I mean, I can't imagine what this trip has been like. I hope you had a great time. I hope you've been masked. And I really hope you're all still speaking to each other. Jealousy aside, I was I was excited for them to take this trip because I know there's a lot of you know, great scenery and there's some I know Stephen will get great content. And uh, but I found out one nugget of information that was most fascinating and that was the portable potty. <laughs> and I just thought I was like I thought it was useful and 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 uh, funny, but I'm like, how are you gonna do it on the go? Like do you stop on the road, hop out in the desert? run around to the back and like pee in the trunk <laughs> like on the back. So I didn't know how it was gonna work. Or are you taking it in and out of the hotel or, you know, if somebody could steal it. I had all these scenarios in my head about it. So I thought that was the funniest part of it all. And then he said it was Nicole's and I'm like, oh shit. So it's not even just for Steven, it's really for Nicole. So that was um, something I thought about a lot for the whole trip while he was going, but I'm glad it was a successful safe trip and uh he made it they made it back in one piece and, and i can't wait to see the video what a great idea two things one don't tie the dog to the rear bumper and two i want pictures of the largest ball of string zadie zadie don't let me leave i don't want to drive home with nicole and steve abria abria the san diego weather cannot be beat but it's time for you and your dog to share the back seat. Abria, Abria, it won't be so bad. Enjoy the quality time with your mom and dad. Abria, Abria, think of the sights that you will be seeing and those holiday and breakfasts with Nicole and Stephen.